Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Friday and it is Foot Birthday. And when I'm loading into FIFA here, I want to see the loading screen, EA Sports. But I want to talk about all the information that you guys need to know that could be coming today for Foot Birthday. Objectives, SBCs, predictions on some of the cards, what we're seeing with this loading screen right here. Um, with the striker, with the center attack in mid-92 rated and the, the 88 rated center French center mid. Uh, with like the weak foot stars underneath. I want to talk about all of that today, especially some of the market movements because there are tons of things that are going to happen on the market today related to these new foot birthday cards, some of the fluctuations you might see with those, and also team of the week moments because there's some there's some players in this set that I think people inter are interested in. But foot birthday, as we know, is one of the most hyped promos in FIFA Ultimate Team. This is one of our favorites all year. This is like, I would say, Team of the Year is number one. Team of the Season is right up there with it, maybe number two. And then number three might be for birthday. This might be like a at least third or fourth most hyped promo of the year just because it's always good and it represents just the Ultimate Team, the Ultimate Team's anniversary, the Ultimate Team's birthday since it was created, since FIFA Ultimate Team was created. If you didn't know, that's the whole point of Foot Birthday. They don't advertise it that really or that often, but just for your information, that's what it is. This is a loading screen graphic put, put together by Caspro HD on Twitter. Um, and basically this is a prediction of his, which I think would be pretty cool. And these would be pretty hyped players, right? We know we're getting a striker with 95 pace that's gonna be upgraded to a five star, five star. And again, this loading screen today really confirms to us that this promo is gonna be based off of boosted cards that are predominantly um, upgrades in the skill move and the weak foot category. So he's got a Sissoko center mid, he's got a Havertz center attacking mid. Now we know that there's gonna be somebody from Bayer Leverkusen and Havertz was gonna be somebody that I thought it could be based on Havertz having a five star weak foot last year and being downgraded to a four star this year. I'm really curious to see if it is him or if it's somebody else like Leon Bailey. But this is just a prediction. Again, this is not real, but that's kind of what uh, was going on here today with the loading screen, telling us what these players are going to be getting upgraded to. So a five-star, five-star uh, Rashford would be sweet. Um, you know, a five-star weak foot, I think is what this would mean on a Sissoko. Okay. I mean, you're still probably just going to play him at center mid or CDM, but he's not going to get forward that much just because of his body type. Um, but again, I just want to kind of warn you guys, there's probably going to be some players in this promo that are you know, what we call, uh, what we could say like duplicate or recycled, we're probably going to get somebody as a part of this promo today. And here's the actual car design with the sprinkles, man. This actually looks really funny because it's legit. If you look at this, it's legit frosting with sprinkles outside of it. And then there's like more like the delicate frosting around the outside. It is legit a FIFA card with frosting and sprinkles, boys. I, I kind of get a kick out of this just because it's funny. Um, and their car designs have been on another level of detail this year. So this is pretty cool, but, uh, these, these are going to look so cool or cool or just weird in game because it's so different. But anyways, what I was saying, I would expect some players today in this squad to be recycles or to be like, if we get a Sissoko, right? I have, but Miss Sissoko in my team or in my club, uh, I'm, I'm doing objectives right now. So this is my economy bowl team. But if I go show you this, the Sissoko in my club, this is a card that a lot of people have, right? They already have the Footmas Sissoko because, you know, Sissoko wasn't going to get a lot of SBCs or a lot of informs from this point on when this card came out this year because he was injured, I think, at the time this maybe would have came out. Maybe not. Um, but a lot of people did this SBC. Look at that, 108 games played for me. I don't play this game a lot. A lot of people have used this card, and we already have an SBC for it. And that kind of makes people upset when they see another card come out that has already had a previous SBC. So I'm just warning you, there's probably going to be some of that today, it seems, uh, just because of what EA has been doing in the past, you know, a couple of promos and what kind of players that they've been putting out. But let's talk about the other stuff that could be coming today, apart from the promo team, which should be coming in packs. And we'll talk about the packs and stuff in a bit. I do believe, and they've been doing this with basically every promo, I do believe we will be getting an SBC player that is a foot birthday card and also an objective or some sort of objective because last year for foot birthday they did an objective and again for basically every promo this year on that friday they drop an sbc player they drop an objective player and then you know they drop the team in packs and that's kind of what they've been doing uh today we had like a, a birthday wish sbc foot birthday is just around the corner join the party early by completing this challenge so it was kind of like a teaser 
four foot birthday. Another another like guaranteed player pack, which is really really interesting. I guess they're giving these out because they want to try to trick people into doing the mid icon SBC, and we'll talk about that today as well. What the kind of you know impact that market's going to have, or what that SBC is going to do, because that SBC is obviously still live. Uh, but a lot of these player SBCs, or like this uh, the Cat Nacho and the Birthday Wish and the 82 to 88. The birthday wish is still here for two days, but some of these upgrade SBCs are going to be going away. So I'm going to make sure that I can get these done tonight. Uh, I want the 84 to 91 rated player. You know what? I'll take a couple. I'll take one of those. So I'm going to do those before those go away. But I do expect an SBC player today, and I would also expect an objective player. Um, usually in objectives, they put somebody that's, you know, pretty, maybe an, a high rated card that has some desire to it. Like for uh, shapeshifters, they did uh, Joe or Yo, however you say his name. They're Brazilian, right? That was a pretty cool card. Uh, we had Bartra as well during shapeshifters, which was an all right card. Uh, and just, you know, I kind of hope they bring back something along the lines of like Daniel James, how they had the Foot Future Stars Academy. Can we have like the, the Foot Birthday Academy? Like that would be pretty sweet as well. A card with an upgraded weak foot or skill move that's available via, via objectives that you kind of have to grind for in the stages. I think that would be cool if they put one of those back out in the game because it's been a while since we've had one. So I would be down for that as well. But I expect there to be a pretty... I expect them to stack the promo team today. Again, I, I do think that Havertz could get in. Sterling, I feel like Sterling is going to get in, boys. I really do. I don't know how they're going to upgrade him because if you look at Sterling's cards, I mean, I think he's already four-star, four-star, right? Oh, he's three-star, four-star. Okay, so maybe they upgrade Sterling today. So possibly... Wait, what's how many how much pace does Sterling's uh headliner card have? It probably it probably has uh too much. How much pace does it have? 95. Yeah. So I don't know if the Sterling would have been the card that was the five star five star today. That would be kind of cool if it was, because if this card was five star five star, he would be he would all of a sudden become a lot more meta than he is. Four star skills is nice. He's got the good work rates. He fits the meta with the high agility and balance, but he doesn't have the weak foot that you can use him up in the front. Um, in this game a lot. So I know a lot of people use Sterling, but if he could get into the team today, that would be pretty cool. Somebody else that could could get into the team today, Griezmann. I, I honestly think Griezmann has a shot of getting in. Upgrade this man's weak foot to a five-star. Yesterday I talked about like, you know, three-star to four-star. It looks like they're going to be going pretty much all out. So if somebody has three-star skill moves, they might get five. Or if somebody has a three-star weak foot, they might get a five-star weak foot. So that kind of stuff is really cool. Uh, and just a side note, the really interesting thing is going to be here. If these players do get an upgrade of the weak foot and of the skill move, how much of a difference are we going to feel in game? Is it really going to feel like that player's getting a weak foot upgrade or is it still going to feel the same? I'm really going to be intrigued to see if that matters. It'll get a stat boost of upgrade, of course. Somebody threw around the um, the possibility of Ndombele getting in. I don't know if that's going to happen. And then, of course, we've talked about our guys like Suarez. I think Suarez is... Definitely a possibility for today because of his downgrade in skill moves over the past two years. I would love me a, a Suarez with five-star skills. That would be perfect. Or even four-star skills. That would be cool. And they would they would upgrade him above 80 pace based on his player of the month card, I think. So it might be like a 93 or 94 Suarez. So that'd be cool. But again, the options are wide open for a promo team today. Like, I would expect a pretty hyped up squad because Foot Birthday is always a banging promo. And the way they've been putting... They've been putting a ton of SBCs out to drain coins, and that's what I talked about earlier this week. We got more SBCs today, by the way. More SBCs, like a player, uh, a Senju SBC. Um, they're just putting out a lot of SBCs to try to drain coins off this game, like especially the mid icon. But a lot of these other SBCs, are just, it just feels like they're here to drain coins. So now is a time where people have saved up packs. People are going to open packs of FIFA points because there's a lot of people that are on this game right now. Again, I've been talking about it all week with the coronavirus stuff. Everybody's staying inside. There are tons and tons of people on this game playing, and that's going to affect EA's revenue. And that, that is a, a spot for them where they could take advantage of the situation and possibly drop a, a sweet promo and make some more money that way. So I think they're going to finally take advantage of it and go for it and do it today. Now, talking about the packs. There are so many people in this game. People are getting smart, right? Especially you guys that watch these videos. A lot of you guys probably have saved up packs because you've realized for the past two weeks, we haven't got a promotion or literally nothing has been in packs 
for the last two weeks. The only thing that it's been good to open packs for is to try to get high rated players because high rated players are all stupid high in price still. I think they're down a little bit today after weekend league rewards. Um, but let me take a look at these really quick. This is the first talking point that I want to talk about today. These high rated players, which yes, they are down 86s or 18k. Uh, 89s are down, you know, they're, they're still 58 to 60 K, but they were 63 K 80. Wow. 88s are down a, a chunk. Nice. 87s are down a little bit. So just watch these cards tomorrow, because this is the biggest point I want to make about not tomorrow today, Friday during the lighting rounds. And during that first hour and a half when the promo drops. So I'm talking 6 PM UK to 7 30 PM UK, the onslaught of packs is going to be massive and that low point it might be in the first 30 minutes or the first 45 minutes of this promotion there might be a point where stuff is just going to drop so fast and so quickly because there's going to be so many saved up packs that are open it's going to be like team of the year if you remember that first lightning round of team of the year everything that wasn't a team of the year card was just getting hammered everything that was in packs high rated golds getting hammered uh, the, end, the team of the week getting absolutely hammered because there were so many saved up packs for team of the year. And that's, again, what is happening today. So if you have packs that are saved up, what would I advise you to do? Either rip them really quick and try to get your chance at a foot birthday player and then go shopping on the market. Or wait, if you don't, if you still have coins and you don't need to open the packs to get coins right away, you might as well wait and then possibly look at making some investments um, in the first hour or so of lightning rounds today, because I think there's going to be such a huge drop on a lot of cards that it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a viable situation. And there's a couple cards, even that are in packs that I do think will rebound, not search Nabry. Uh, I want Kingsley Coman. I, I'm really interested in this week's team of the week moments cards, because I feel like these cards are criminally, criminally underpriced right now. Kingsley Coman, this card is 70,000 coins. And we are before the promo has, has even started. This guy was selling consistently over 100K yesterday, his first day in packs. And I just think nobody is buying these right now because they know that they're going to get packed. And there's just nobody that's buying because they're waiting for this promo to come out. So keep an eye on these cards because they're pretty rare, right? I think they're still not searchable under the, the special. Is that correct? They are searchable under special now. Thank you, EA Sports. I put out a Twitter video a couple days ago talking about this. Thank you, EA Sports, for making these searchable under the special um, special quality. We like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But anyways, I do think that these cards will take a hit during lightning rounds. So keep a very, very close eye on those because they could rebound, especially some of the ones that are very meta, very usable, like this Coman card. I think 70K, if you, dude, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If you see this guy at like 60,000 coins during lightning rounds, a guy, a Bayern, French Bayern left wing with 94 pace. I don't care about his weak foot. I don't care about, you know, his medium low work rates or maybe his strength is low. That combination of team and nationality, that is way too cheap at this point in the game for those kind of stats and that nationality in that team. So I'm just saying, watch a card like this tomorrow. Watch De Bruyne. Watch the other guys that are in this team of the week moments too. Even Pepe. This is a pretty good looking card for a right wing in the Prem. Lucas is a card that tons of people have used this year. If you see him at 150K, maybe even lower than that, that's pretty low in my opinion. This De Bruyne is already pretty low. Uh, Nine Golan, maybe like 170K or 180K. I mean, I'm just throwing out some random prices. I don't know what exactly is going to be the impact of all the packs tomorrow, but please keep your eyes open on these cards. And also speaking about the foot birthday cards, right? Let's, let's use Havertz as our example. Whatever cards come out tomorrow, if you're looking to buy any of the foot birthday items, I think, I seriously think that you're going to want to make a purchase on that card in the first hour and a half. Now I say hour and a half because I don't know if there's going to be something crazy that happens and there's going to be a lot of panic. And then the second, for some reason, the second lighting round will be lower. I just don't see that happening this time around. I see the first hour being the cheapest because of so many saved packs. And I'm going to be honest, this, the amount of saved packs is crazy. I see everybody on Twitter saying that they have saved packs, like 90% of people, and that they don't just have saved packs. They have 20, they have 30, they have 40 or 50 saved packs over the past couple of weeks from doing league SBCs, from saving their rewards and stuff like that. 
And I seriously think that's going to have a massive impact on the market. It might be one of those promo days where the promo team is the cheapest within the first little bit, and then it rises up afterwards into the night. Now, we've seen that a few times, and I do think that happens again today on foot. What else is going to happen on the market? We have other cards, of course. Like, you guys are probably looking at buying some cards that are out of packs in forms, right? Like, let's say maybe you really want this shapeshifter Richarlison for your team tomorrow. What's going to affect his price? Watch these cards. Anything that is out of packs, that is a very meta and popular card, even if you just want to buy it for your team, watch these cards tomorrow or to th this morning, Friday morning as we head into the promo. Watch for the panic selling. He's 1.4 flat right now. What has he been all day today? He was 1.45 at some point, so he's been pretty steady. He's down a little bit. But this, you might see him at like 1.3 or like 1.32, if, especially if we get any leaks or on Twitter, if they do another loading screen before the promo comes out. If we get another center attack in mid in the Prem, like I don't know who they would give, but let's say they upgrade an, another Brazilian center attack in mid, like a Firmino for some reason. I, he's already, he's got a five-star skill upgrade, so I don't know if they would do him, but just bear with me for the example. Maybe they do, they do a striker Salah or a center attack in mid Salah that with a five-star weak foot, that could possibly drop this Richarlison because it's, it's a substitute good. Does that make sense? It's another person or another player coming in the same position as he is that somebody might say, yo, I'm going to sell my Richarlison and go pick up that card. So watch out for the panic selling headed into the promo and then panic selling once the team is released for some substitute goods. Um, but if you want to buy anything before the promo, like seriously, almost every single weekend this year, Buying before the promo has been the move. Buying in the panic sell that happens before the promo if it's an out of packs special card. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, right? This is kind of a card. It's really going to be hard for somebody to top this. Like what card is going to come out that would make this Ibra go down? Probably another Ibra. That would be the only one of a player of this quality and this type, right? It's Zlatan. So if you would see this is Laton get maybe like I bought one last night for weekend league rewards flipping at 699. If you would see him in the low 700s again, you know that he can bounce right back up to the 700 high 700s range again. I would this is the type of player that I would certainly watch for, you know, even like an Ake, right? An Ake, a Bruno Fernandez, Ariola, Schultz, guys that are very very hyped up that you know, could be there could be some panic selling in the morning for. So that's a way you can make coins today. The other way you can make coins, and uh, by being on the market, of course, is watching those high rated. As I just looked at, right, Lewandowski, Kane, 89 rated cards, SBC fodder, is definitely going to be taking a hit at some point today, right? Lewandowski right now is 57, 58 thousand coins. I wouldn't be surprised if this card drops almost 10k tomorrow. What is it going to rise back up after it drops from all the packs? Yes, I do. I do think that it will. I will. These cards will rise up. The fodder cards will definitely take a hit from all the supply and they will rise back up because there's consistent demand for this middle icon SBC. Now, if you wanted to do this to the, you know, the absolute best, what, what's your best profit range? Like, where are you going to be able to make the most money from looking at, you know, fodder cards on a day like this when all the packs are open right away? If I had to look at any uh, version or any rating of the SBC fodder that I would try to get into. I think I might say the 86s. I'm always a fan of the 86 and 87 rated cards. I know the 89s are a lot more rare. So if you see massive drops, like if we see Lewandowski tomorrow and he's 45,000 coins or maybe, maybe even like 40 K, you would have the green light for me to pick that card up because people, after they open all their packs, their saved packs, maybe they open, you know, put in FIFA points and open some, they're going to have coins. They're going to have coins and they're going to go want to go out and do something with those coins. So watch the drop on SBC fodder tomorrow and informs as well, especially informs that are out of packs, because if those are dropping, there's literally no supply for anything that is out of packs um, that you could uh, you could possibly put your money into. Last thing, icons on the 59th minute tomorrow with the basic chem style right here. If you're somebody with a lot of coins, this is a chemistry style filter for you. Make it like 900,000 coins, put that up to like a few mil, uh, and you will be able to search the 59th minute, get there really fast. Right now, it's, it's really, really, really fast because there's not that many basic chem style icons on the market. But 
People will be packing icons tomorrow at the 59th minute. You should, you could be able to get some undercuts and could be able to get some deals. And if you have your eyes on a specific icon, like let's say you want to buy like uh, Moments Puyol. Let's say Moments Puyol, for whatever reason, is on your radar. And you're like, yo, I want to buy this card. Um, I don't want to get it from swaps because I just want to do something else. Looks like he's 820K, 780. Wow, never mind. 780K, 770 for this. Maybe you see, like, you know, like somebody pack him tomorrow and they list him up at 700K flat. Like, boom, right there. So, like, a, a pretty massive, pretty significant undercut. That's the kind of stuff you could see on the 59th minute tomorrow, especially because there's going to be lighting rounds and there's tons of packs saved but this is the last thing i want to leave you with since there are lots of packs saved and lots of packs that will be opened today for a birthday i keep saying today and tomorrow you get it right friday today or tomorrow it's it means friday all right it means friday promo day there's going to be a lot of packs opened and what does that mean that means coins are entering the game because every time somebody opens a pack they're either quick selling something to like gaining overall coins or they're selling something on the market, which technically is an equal transaction because somebody else is losing coins when they're buying that card. But every time somebody opens a pack, there's some quick selling involved. And that's where the market really, really gains coins. And that's where this game gains a ton of coins. It's just people opening packs and their coin total goes up um, from that. And that means there's going to be a rebound because when people have coins, what do they do? They either do SBCs, so we buy the fodder stuff and that stuff goes up, or they go out and they buy players on the market. So that's why I'm really, really telling you to look for some panic selling on some of these out of packs cards, like the Zlatan, like the Mason Greenwood, right? It's like especially this card would be something you would want to look at. If if Rashford would get one, there might be people that panic sell this card, but there also might be people that try to go pair up Greenwood with Rashford if you get like an insane card. So, you know, Haaland, man of the match. These team of the year uh, moments cards are, are out of packs. Bruno Fernandez informs, a very popular card in this game. Watch out for the popular, the meta, and the usable cards for panic selling and then a rebound because people are going to have coins after tomorrow with all the packs they have saved up and everything that's going to be happening for foot birthday. So again, New cards and packs today should be pretty hype. I think like there's a promo like EA is going to be hosting streamers. I think there's like charity stuff going on or, or something like that um, today on Friday. So it's going to be a big day in FIFA Ultimate Team. New cards and packs, SBCs, objectives, tons of fun stuff. It's a promo Friday on foot. It's foot birthday and hopefully it is a good one from FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.